Hi everybody, I'm Saban Adams from Prisma and I'm back with another quick tip. And in this tip today, I'll be walking through how to build an exists function. A lot of ORMs right now have functions that are called exist, where you pass it in a search query and it'll let you know with a Boolean value if a record in your database matches that search query. While Prisma doesn't have that function specifically, we do have all the pieces needed to make one, so I'll be walking through how to do that. Uh, the concept that we're going to actually use to implement this is the fact that JavaScript will resolve a numeric value to a Boolean based on its value. So for example, if we do uh, exists equals zero, console log Boolean exists, we're going to see that we get a false value. And if we did one, we'd get a true value. And so we're gonna use that using Prisma's count function in order to implement our exist function. So let's create a new function here called exists. And this function is gonna take in some args and it's going to perform a count operation. So we'll do count equals await Prisma. And I have a user model, so I'll do user.count and we'll pass it in our args. And then we'll return a Boolean representation of that count, just like we did before with plain numbers. So this should, um, this should uh, allow us to do this. So if we do const uh, user exists equals await exists, um, we should be able to run this. But what we see here is that we don't actually get any type safety and that's because we're not providing a type here. So I'm gonna use Prisma's namespace and we'll do prisma.user count args. So this is going to be the arguments that you would use in a count function. So now we get all of these nice type safety features here. And we could do where a name and where the name equals Saban. And I have made sure that there's a record named Saban in the database. So if we actually run this, user exists, we should see true. So now we're getting yes, true, that user does exist. And if I mess up this name a little bit, we're going to see false. Now this is super cool, however, currently it only works for a user model specifically. We need to make this more generic so that any model can use this. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to pass in a model and that will be of the model type. Now this model type doesn't actually exist yet and that's because it's a generic argument. We want this type to be derived from whatever we pass into this function. So we're gonna say that there's a generic called model and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna say this model should extend uh, this object and the reason we're doing this is because we want to make sure that whatever we pass into this model argument here Has a count key because we're going to need that function We could probably do a like a function here or some representation of a function just to be extra safe But for now any works just fine So we're passing in a model. We're using that model as our generic parameter And now we can actually do a little bit of TypeScript magic to get these arguments so we're going to use this parameters function and this parameters function will take in a function. So we'll do count. So we're using our model type. We're getting the count key from it and we're doing zero. So what this is going to do is it's going to take all of the function parameters from our count function and return the types of them in an array. And we're getting the first one. And the reason we do that is so that we can uh, use this model.count instead of the specific Prisma one. And then we should be good. We're passing in our arguments. And now down here, we'll see that we can pass in our model. So now that we've got prisma.user, all of this works and it works just fine. And we still get all of this nice type safety. We can see name here. Now the cool thing about this, and the reason that we went through all of that work to make it generic is because now if we change this to another model, I also have a post model, we get this error. And that's because we don't have a name key on our post. What we have though is a title key instead. So this is going to cater the, uh, the filter criteria to whichever model you passed into it. So now this will work with any uh, model you use. So I hope this helped. Um, if you have any questions about how any of this is working or how I put any of this together, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, and thank you so much for watching. Bye.